Several local businesses began the day in the dark. CBS 17's Greg Funderburg joins us live with how they managed to still serve the customers. Well, Angela and Rod, I'm standing along Six Forks Road here in Raleigh, and as you can see, the power is back on today. But when I talked to some of the business owners earlier today, they told me they arrived to work early this morning and they were in the dark. Which one is it? All right. Isaiah Hardy arrived here to Phoenix Salon Suites to a big surprise. It was like dark. I, I, the, the street light was out. He says he drove around to check things out before his first client was set to arrive at 6 a.m. Lights to the buildings was out, so I knew right then I said, yeah, I think the power is out. The outage also prevented him from getting access to his equipment to go elsewhere. Since the building is like 24 hours and to operate with Bluetooth, I couldn't get in. He is just one of many business owners having to flex clients. I received a message this morning. Luis Garcia is the manager at this Mexican restaurant. He says the power outage was an inconvenience for some, but thankfully didn't affect their business. We opened like um, 11 in the morning. And after like that, we work in regular hours. Duke Energy says more than 125,000 people across the state lost power, including around 50,000 in the Triangle. They tell us most of the power outages were restored by mid-morning. As for this business owner... Things can be uh, unpredictable. But it will keep him on his toes for the next storm team alert day this Friday. It helps me to realize that this is part of business also. As of right now, Duke Energy is reporting less than 1% of customers without power in Wake County tonight. Of course, they tell us that crews are also getting ready for the next potential threat of storms coming up on Friday. Reporting live in Raleigh, Greg Funderburg, CBS 17 News. Yeah, unfortunately, you had a good rehearsal for that this yeah. week for Friday. Greg, thank you. We appreciate it.